Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So somehow integrate, uh, somehow integrate this. Um, remember, uh, back in calculus two, um, we couldn't integrate this. Um, so we would use uh, we would use series in order to integrate something like this. So, well, luckily in um, in multivariable calculus, you can switch these two around. Well, somehow integrate this. Okay, so somehow integrate that. So press pause. So press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to integrate this, um, if we switch these two around so that we would integrate it with respect to x and then with respect to y, well, if you integrate it with respect to x, then um, then this whole thing here would be a constant because everything's in terms of y. So the first step is to um, to switch it around. So uh, integrate it like this. So treat this as a constant. Uh, if you do it by dx and then by dy but the thing is uh, we have no idea the region we're talking about so let's try and understand the region so when you look at this so if you look at your domain this is your x-axis this is your y-axis um, you're at the moment at the moment this thing here is moving in the y direction so everything would be parallel to y so it's moving like this everything is parallel to the y-axis so it's moving like this it's moving like this and um, you're moving from this to this well we have no idea let's let's just um let's just sketch this y equals x it's going to look like this so it's moving like this uh it's moving like this because uh because dx is it's always parallel to to sorry dy is always parallel to the y axis so it's moving like this we now know whatever is talk whatever is talking about it's going to have a diagonal line well it starts at the diagonal line so you know it's going to do this you you know it's going to start at the diagonal line you know it's going to start at the diagonal line but then you stop at y equals pi so um so let's just imagine this is pi here well it's a straight line it's a straight diagonal line so this must be pi well, so you're moving like this. You start at the diagonal line, and then you you stop at y. Uh, you stop at pi. Uh, so you start at the diagonal line, and then you stop at pi. You start at the diagonal line, you stop at pi. You start at the diagonal line, stop at pi. Uh, and then you're scanning. You're scanning all the way through. You're scanning all the way through from x equals zero to pi. So you're scanning. You're scanning all the way through like this. You're scanning all the way through like this, from zero to pi. So, so, so the region you're talking about is really this region here. Okay. So, so, um, so when you uh, when you switch these two around, when you switch these two around, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get this. But now you're you're moving in the x direction first. So if you look at this, hang on, you've got to move like this. You now have to move like this. Hang on. Uh, this is y equals x. This is pi. This is uh, this is pi. Um, you've got to move parallel to the x in the uh, x. You've got to move parallel to the x uh, axis. So it's going to move like this. But because you want because you want to talk about this region here, you have to move like this from zero to the diagonal line. From zero to the diagonal line from 0 to the diagonal line you have to move like this well this is dx so you know it's going to be x equals something x equals something well looking at this you're moving from x equals 0 to the diagonal line to the diagonal line well x will be y here the diagonal line will be y so that that must be y and then uh, you're scanning all the way through from from where to where well this is what dy so this must be y equals something y equals something well if you look at this you're scanning through like this you're scanning from y equals zero all the way to pi you're scanning from y equals zero all the way to to pi so from so rather than integrating this we would turn it into this the good thing is that we can now treat this as a constant because we are integrating with respect to x so in order for you to E evaluate this let's turn it into this so this thing here is oops this thing here hang on what's going on bear with me uh, this thing here this thing here is this thing hang on is this thing okay 
So it, it boils down to us trying to integrate this. So now, um, now treat this thing here as a constant. So integrate it with, with respect to x. So when you integrate it with respect to x, it will give you the constant. This is a constant here. This is a constant. And then x when you integrate it. Uh, and we're integrating from 0 to y. We're integrating from 0 to y. So now we've got to put y into the x. So that would then be, that would then be, well, put y into the x. That would then give you this. And then you take away, and then you put, um, you put 0 into the x. So that would be 0 into the x. So this block here, multiplied by 0, is just going to disappear. These two y's, they're going to cancel each other out, giving you sine, giving you sine of y. So now integrate it with respect to um, to uh, to y. So integrate this with respect to y. That will give you minus cos of y. So now put this into here. That will then give you this. Put this into here. That will then give you this. So um, so cos of pi is negative one. So you've got negative and a negative one here. So that makes a positive. And then uh, cos of zero is here. Cos of zero is the number one. So it's really plus one plus one so the answer is two overall the answer would be two okay